Gloria in Early on Sunday morning, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and found that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. She ran and found Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved. She said, They have taken the Lord's body out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. Mary was standing outside the tomb crying, and as she wept, she stooped and looked in. She saw two white-robed angels, one sitting at the head and the other at the foot of the place where the body of Jesus had been lying. Dear woman, why are you crying? the angels asked her. Because they have taken away my Lord, she replied, and I don't know where they have put him. She turned to leave and saw someone standing there. It was Jesus, but she didn't recognize him. Dear woman, why are you crying? Jesus asked her. Who are you looking for? She thought he was the gardener. Sir, she said, if you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will go and get him. Mary, Jesus said. She turned to him and cried out, Rabboni, which is Hebrew for teacher. Don't cling to me, Jesus said, for I haven't yet ascended to the Father. But go find my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene found the disciples and told them, I have seen the Lord. Then she gave them his message. O oh God, you are my God, it is you I seek. For you my body yearns, for you my soul thirsts, in a land parched, lifeless, and without water. I look to you in the sanctuary, to see your power and glory. For your love is better than life, my lips shall ever praise you. I will bless you as long as I live, I will lift up my hands, calling on your name. My soul shall be sated as with choice food. With joyous lips my mouth shall praise you. I think of you upon my bed. I remember you through the watches of the night. You indeed are my Savior, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you. Your right hand upholds me. But those who seek my life will come to ruin. They shall go down to the depths of the netherworld. Those who would hand over my life to the sword shall become the prey of jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God. All who swear by the Lord shall exult. But the mouths of liars will be shut. Although many of Christ's disciples fled after his arrest, Mary Magdalene never wavered as she stood weeping with Mary, the mother of Jesus, and John, the beloved, at the foot of the cross, watching as the hope, life, and light of the world died upon the cross. Yet on that glorious Sunday morning, she continued to seek Jesus, and she wept when she couldn't find him. And just as she began to despair and question the supposed gardener, she heard his voice calling her by name, Mary. Oh, praise the Lord Jesus Christ, the living God who calls us by name. And let us learn from Mary how we should always seek after the Lord, even while it is still dark, when all hope feels lost and tears fill our eyes so that one day we may hear his voice calling us by name, and we, like Mary, may rejoice as we say, I have seen the Lord. Let us pray. Saint Mary Magdalene, Apostle to the Apostles, First Witness of the Resurrection, Inspire in us that longing for Christ which brought you the blessings of the risen Lord. Pray for us that we may remain faithful, hopeful, and loving disciples of Jesus. In the darkest Fridays of our life, remind us that Sunday will come, 
and help us to see the light of Christ and hear his comforting words. Amen.